everyone and welcome back to the 54 part tutorial um, it's night here it's about you can see the hour uh, 147 a.m. anyway uh, I'm uh, I'm awake you know I just don't know where I'm gonna go to sleep today so I want to spend some more time on finishing this and basically um, I had a problem here uh, I created a part where I'm assembling the final part uh, well the ma major part here that should be assembled and what happened then is that only halfway of the road whenever I started this um, the entire I, I well I just realized that I didn't save the file with these guys to here you know this insert uh, this pivot here so uh, basically it was a frustrating point because I really finished the part as like creating that major part that I needed and then I erased it because I felt it's wrong to show you something that uh, with something is missing uh, so anyway I recreated this and it's not uh, the same as I did it on the part for uh, 53 so I'm gonna just show you what what I've done first of all I'm gonna save this one just make sure that I'm really going on back and continue from here and I will go over that same file where I really forgot to save the f uh, the way that thing so here you can see really what I'm gonna create this is the part that we need here and the thing about that is that I could have done this without this part being here I'm talking about these parts but I just felt it's wrong so uh, I decided to show you a few things here and how I deal with them so you remember when we took fa uh, edges here and then I rotated this at point one point I rotated my camera towards here and some edges went differently here so <coughs> I did a I created an annotation on I, I'm not trying to pronounce this annotation or annotation uh, on that 53 part where I said that as as above so below and yeah I know <laughs> but um, this is pretty much what I've done I took the one edge that has been here and I beveled it just as I did here and that way everything uh, you know just went fine with um, you know I just had to uh, at first at, at what you have seen I only connected these edges I created them with the cut tool these two so you will have to do this here and here and here and here and there and there uh, but first of all just make sure you build this middle edge and this middle edge and then you will be able to continue that way so you can see how it's constructed it's almost the same and it's much better doing this that way so right now I'm gonna unisolate this and I'm gonna show you how to create this thing although I'm not quite satisfied with that um, the reason is because there is a part that should be here and it's some sort of a, a plate I mean like if this link you see it here it should come above above the this area and here it has some sort of a <coughs> well something that you can put a pin through here and go through that thing and this is basically what locks it uh, keep it safe from opening so we can do something you know improvise creating something here that you can stick the pin there and then that way uh, we don't really have to do this all all the way from the beginning I mean at least not for that part so let's just go and do that I'm gonna go b switch back to the file that I've been at yeah I don't want to save this and there is something else that should will be nice now to introduce you to I'm gonna double click on that and at the same time yeah I don't want to click on that one there so let's just do duplicate face here and I'm gonna press F8 three times uh, by the way I uh, managed to change the wireframes color because it really was hurting me uh, my eyes I don't know it's too glowy 
and but whenever I'm selecting it it's still green but it's uh, less glowing like the other one um, less brighter I guess anyway I'm gonna unselect this and stay with this one and what I will do here is I'm gonna do and well let's write uh, make it you know make it uh, well this will be a problem here I'm gonna isolate it first okay I'm gonna do a modify center to pivot for it switch to move tool I don't know it seems like something is not responding here I know what is it okay and <coughs> I'm gonna double click on this edge, extrude it once, and I'm gonna just pull it with the green one because the green one is this is this direction that I'm pulling it and basically spread it a little bit more. Okay? So it doesn't move any other axis, it's remain on the same axis, just uh make it a little bit more wide open. So extruding this and then you will go and take these three and switch to move tool. So right now the move tool is not oriented with the same direction of these three selections so you're gonna go double click on this click reset or click component and move this over here just a little bit like so okay not too much now we're gonna do the same here so I'm gonna take these three now the the move tool is still oriented so that's okay that's good I'm gonna switch to scale tool again it's not oriented so I'm going to change to component and I'm going to do this that way now the thing is I need another piece just like this one but here and flipped so you will see um, right now if I'm going to do rotation I can switch to component and you can see I can turn this around well oh I'm on the edge so I need it this to be oriented like so you see when this thing is like that and when I'm pressing F8 bring it back to object I can't really do this it doesn't really give me this choice so what you need to do is basically you want to copy this control D uh, press D on your keyboard and click uh, on this edge here okay so now that it's aligned with this you can simply go on press J and rotate this in this direction okay uh, something is wrong here obviously maybe no let's see that we do have no we, uh, I need to press <laughs> okay I know what's the problem the D is like uh, it's it's reacting weird it's like uh, now whenever I press D uh, the D key is uh, just uh, you need to double click on it in order to switch it off so it acts like a button so anyway you see right now I can really copy this into here and by doing that basically uh, I'm gonna go over reverse this press F8 bring it back to object mode I'm gonna grab both of them and I'm gonna choose vertices oh sorry no I'm gonna first combine them shift right click combine right click choose vertices I'm gonna grab these vertices here uh, except this one and I'm gonna to switch to scale tool and let's try and reset this and change to component maybe uh, it's not a must you know uh, you can go and take the target well tool so clicking on the background and just stitching them together the isolation part is doing a little bit trouble here so I'm gonna press F8 bring it back to object mode grab it and isolate it once again and then I will read will do this but you can merge them all, <coughs> all and that will be fine so sorry guys uh, merge I'm merging with 0 0.0200 and I'm not sure about that you know yeah, we'll have to keep it that way. I don't have much choice. Uh, let's do it again. Let's grab these. Shift right, shift right click, merge vertices. <coughs> and now, which, when they are connected that way, I'm gonna go and take them. 
and maybe maybe just push this a little bit backwards not too much okay or either grab this one and move it a little bit like so so this one is really up to you you're gonna need to choose what you want to do with this uh, you can either uh, move them backwards a little bit or you can keep it as they are but try to make sure that they are th this hole is somewhere here now after doing this um, I'm gonna bring those a little bit like so and maybe rotate them a little bit so it will be uh, in the same flow and won't look distorted or something maybe even just a little bit like so so it's going to be a little bit weird to model this that way because you need to see the entire perspective every time so I will need to rotate my entire camera to show you these parts uh, that I'm dealing with anyway you've seen how the whole picture should be looked like for this uh, particular uh, piece of object so it's not really that hard um, I'm gonna extrude these edges now and switch to move tool and then click D and click on this align edge and I'm gonna push those out like so move this to about here I have this corner here so it's a good place to rely on and you can switch to scale tool at the same time and flatten this if you want now when you get to here uh, let's try to push this a little bit like so and we're gonna do it one more extrusion and switch to move tool click D again click uh, sorry click on that edge now it's a little bit tricky here to do this so I'm zooming in a little bit too much but as long that I'm grabbing that edge and I'm gonna move this edge over here so I'm gonna hold on the V key and try to push this towards here and then bring it here and then bring it well something like that at the center now this is really uh, need to be brought down so I'm gonna grab all of them and I'm gonna press D and grab this edge so it will help me to move this that way okay so put it that way and if you want you can do the same over here press D for all of well grab these sorry grab these and press D and click on that one and you will be able to bring this area a little bit down so you see what I've done not really uh, much of a problem to do this just need to get familiar with this I grabbed all those vertices trying to match this in some way I don't know it could be even lower but I prefer this to be that way and when you think you've done with this I'm gonna try and create a cut here I'm gonna click here doesn't matter where, where right now click here click here and click here okay so I have another edge here which I can uh, use in order to well I need to cut this one as well no I don't need so I'm gonna do that the train here yes we have a train nearby and I don't know if you heard heard that horn but maybe you did anyway um, <coughs> at this point what I will do is I'm gonna squeeze those like so and I'm gonna use the rotation tool just to align it with the same flow the flow is like that so I'm trying to do this that way Let's take a look that we haven't distorted anything. Maybe bring this a little bit there. And when you satisfy with that, you're gonna grab maybe another edge. I'm not sure if to do this that way or not. Let me try to change this to component and bring them to here. And maybe that way I will be able to grab an edge here. Yeah, I will grab this edge. I guess this will be the best shot here. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I'm gonna do this that way. I'm gonna bring this, move it very close to here. <coughs> I'm gonna add another edge in between. This one should be... Oops. 
This one should be easier, so let's bring it back to object mode and add one here. And with that one, I'm gonna grab this edge, extrude it, switch to move tool, and press D, and again click on that edge and start extruding it towards that area here. So <clears throat> you wanna make sure you rotate this a little bit that way and you want to make sure that you bring it just a little bit towards there okay and that way we are shortened the way towards this you can extrude and pull it here and even squeeze it a little bit and you can do and continue to do so okay you don't have to always <coughs> sorry ah, my throat is just messed up Anyway, um, you don't have always to uh, click the uh, D and the alignment unless you need it. So I'm trying now to insert this into here by extruding it towards inside. So first of all, I'm creating a flow that way uh, using the rotation tool and really try to make the best way to do this so it will look fine whenever I'm going to extrude it later on. So I'm dealing with these extrusions and one more thing here whenever it comes over there uh, I want this immediately to insert it in I don't want to have a, this little gap even but that's acceptable but don't make more uh, you know uh, gap in between that thing and that thing okay you see this area here what I'm speaking about so make sure it's oops no, and I'm going to extrude it once more, and I'm going to squeeze this a little bit like so. Now, from here, it will need a little bit of more touch, so you do want to keep it that way. I think that way it looks good, but you want to move it a little bit out from there. Of course, this is going to be smooth preview, so we have a lot of space here, so take this in mind as well, and by acknowledging this I will simply bring this a little bit backwards don't intersect make sure you're not intersecting this also should be smooth preview so and this one also should be smooth preview uh, right now it doesn't matter uh, you will be able to uh, tweak this even better later on but right now when it's done like so I will um, press D and click here and I'm gonna reset the tool okay and what I will do is I'm going to go over select, sorry, edit, duplicate special. And this is, we already met this uh, duplicate special option. Uh, my cat is trying to enter the house. I will have to uh, pause the video for a second and I will go and open the door for her. Okay, so just one second. So she's in the house and we can continue. So right now you can see down here this axis, the axis towards there and because it's towards there I need to do here a negative scale of minus one. So all the rest should be one as they are and this one should turn into minus one. I'm not sure what will be the case in your uh, way of positioning your jerry cane at first but this will be very uh, crucial so uh, that way you will be able to tell which one of those you should do it okay it, uh, so it's not like probably it won't be the same for you guys anyway uh, you can always rotate your entire stuff and make it align like so so basically the Z is in front of me the X is to the right and Y is of course up so no problem there rotate and do this that way if you don't really understand how to set these uh, so anyway X Y Z because this is the X this is Y this is the Z X negative 1 click apply it will create a duplicate exactly according to the pivot which is here um, with that done I'm gonna grab both of them and I'm gonna do mesh combine and then I'm gonna do uh, well I'm gonna close this thing Let's press a fade, bring it back to object mode. And I'm going to grab this and isolate it for a second. 
I don't know, something was already isolated there. I'm gonna grab these, and I can try and squeeze them that way, but it's not aligned that way, so I'm gonna go and reset this, and then do this that way, see? So, with that done, all selected, shift right click, merge vertices, merge vertices. Uh, I don't have a problem with threshold right now, uh, unless they are uh, connected and this is wrong, but right now it's okay. This is why I'm not always opening this. I mean, sometimes the threshold is enough to connect all the vertices. We can just check it by pressing 3 or trying to open this, okay? If everything is alright. Why do I think that I made some mistake right now? I thought that I maybe undid something. Anyway, now we're gonna un isolate this and I'm gonna click extrusion as an object mode for it. So the entire object is going to be extruded and I'm gonna pull this a little bit like so. Okay, you don't need more than that. This is already enough and by doing that basically we have some thickness to this thing. Now I'm extruding, on extruding it uh, only with one division. I always recommend you to work with one division. I have no idea what I've done earlier that I set it to 36. Oh, I know, I created those uh, pipes for the, you know, heat exchanger of the air conditioning. Anyway, you see we have a problem here. I don't know where this is came from. I'm gonna try and deal with it. Delete. Delete this one as well. Hopefully there are no other issues there. I'm gonna check the target well too. I'm gonna check it to center because I don't want to stretch anything here more than it should so the center is pretty good. I have no idea why that happened but again I'm gonna fix this. By the way um, you can press G nor Y. Y will always be your last tool but G will always be your last function. So it's acting the same, it really depends on what you used, but there is a difference between them and I think that this is the, you know, the difference, the differences between them. So I'm gonna bevel this one, this edge here, and the reason is that I need to create something here. So I'm gonna grab this edge, edge ring utilities, edge ring and split, and shift right click bevel it. And I'm gonna double click on that, shift double click on that, switch to scale tool, try to reset it so it will be aligned like that way. And I'm gonna pull them like so. And all I wanna do here is grabbing this thing, nor this thing, I don't know, whatever you choose. You can extrude it that way. Add a little bit of rotation, extrude it again, move it like so, add a little bit of rotation in this direction, extrude it again, pull it, bring it down a little bit, rotate it a, a little bit more, and by doing this basically, this will be some, uh, the thing that you are pulling this in order to make this uh, slide out from this or inside basically so either pull it or push it whenever you want to lock this so the only thing that I'm concerned here is this area well it's not the only thing not true but we will fix this I have these I want to push them just a little bit up so they won't touch the cap there maybe pull them outside I don't know whatever fits and here we want to play a little bit with this shape. So if I'm going to press 3, it will smooth preview. Right now, the only thing before I'm going to do this, I'm going to add edge loops here. Now these edge loops can be a very, uh, I don't know, they're going to they're going to create themselves a little bit uh, weird, and maybe we will need to deal with them. So you see, I'm creating one here but something is wrong, it's not going all the way through, and this is because we had this open area earlier. And I, I'm guessing that I didn't really uh, patch those two correctly whenever I'm, I was doing them, creating them. So I'm going to do the same for these. I'm going to select them. Let's fix this thing. 
Oopsie. Come on. <laughs> Click here. Let's select those. Oh, by the way, I shared a video. Uh, it's about a person who is a screenwriter. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, most of uh, Nicolas Cage movies, but uh, one of the films that he was acting was uh, adaptation or adaptation. I don't know how to pronounce this thing. Adaptation and well. Uh, I like those sort of movies, I don't know why, uh, but uh, it was interesting to know who really wrote this, because this is, was the first time for me to really acknowledge who written this script for this uh, movie, and he's a very nice person, I guess, uh, this Charlie Kaufman. And there is some nice speech that he's giving to people who came to learn a little bit more about script writing. And I don't know, we don't get to see many people like that person um, in our real world, which is a very cruel sort of way. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a little bit cruel world for many people here. Um, I'm trying to merge those, but I'm talking too much. Let's press 3. Okay. So, it's not an easy world. Let's say it that way. And he was trying to explain himself. And it wasn't that uh, easy for him because he needed really to sit and a uh, week before writing what he's going to say on stage. And... I don't know, I, r I really uh, admire this person uh, from first sh seeing, watching that thing, uh, you know, that speech, because he was really a nice person, he giving the impression that he's a really good person, or at least trying to be one like that, uh, one good person. So I'm going to put grab this here and trying to with the middle cube square here to maybe position those a little bit different and maybe play with those as well. Okay, if I'm pressing three, it will be like so. But I do need to bring this down. I'm clicking on my mouse middle button in order to control this that way. Um, and yeah, I suggest you to learn to work with it as well, but make sure you always keep an open eye for this um, for how you manipulate this anyway so it's just a suggestion for you if you want to go and hear him uh, go ahead and look through my Google Plus uh, account you will see this post there and maybe you will learn something about some good peoples we have in this world so <coughs> what I've done I cut half of it because uh, I know that I, I, I'm gonna have some issues here and then I'm gonna click here press D and click here just so I can copy uh, you know mirror copy this so I'm gonna go over edit uh, duplicate special and that way I'm going to grab both of them, right-click, choose, mm, shift, right-click, choose, combine, right-click, choose, vertices. <coughs> grab these, and let's merge them, shift, right-click, merge vertices, merge vertices, press F8, once or twice, press 3, just to see that it's combined or patched correctly there. Now let's try and insert an edge loop, not here, man, here. So you can see now it's going all the way through here and there. Oopsie, 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 where am I? Okay, <laughs> here. So we can add 
sorry, we can add one more here, and this will be uh, it for this major part, okay, um, I'm going to press 3 to show you how it looks, it looks like that, I have a suggestion for you, you don't have to take this because I am, I am going to take it, you can create a hole here, you know how to create holes, right, you take a polygon pipe, creating uh, uh, frame borders with edges and then you can create a hole here <coughs> so you can also make it thicker if you want so you can grab these vertices here and grab these vertices here switch to scale to make the or make sure that the orientation is correct and that's good and you can also add edge loops at least here and there and here if you like or you can grab these at the center and pull them a little bit like so, so it will be like that. Anyway, that looks good. The mechanism is should work. I mean, the mechanism should work. And all I want you to make sure is that, see here, this hole should be in front of that hole there. So this is something that I didn't succeed on my first attempt and I hope that you will do this and it will be a successful from the first time so I'm trying to make it n to narrow this because it doesn't need to be that far uh, though it should uh, you know have the opportunity to open I'm gonna press D here oopsie Press D here and click on that one so I can push this entire thing here, maybe up a little bit. No, it's touching that. And it's already smooth to preview this thing, so uh, this is our limit here. Alright, um, what do you say? I'm not sure if to continue this or uh, really... I'm grabbing these. Okay, play with it a little bit more on that aspect of this thing, uh, you can make it may maybe a little bit more stretched in this area, like so, but you will need to go and do the same for both of them. Right now it's by, you know, I made it by selecting it without really knowing it, but you make sure you do everything correct. Now the last thing is to create a pins, two pins that you want to go through here and to create something like this thing here uh, to let this pin to get through here so this is acting as a pivot but this one is the lock mechanism this is what firmly lock this from going up and or down so uh, what I will do is I can go and take click this one double click on that one and do the same here Okay, so it's selecting only the top, shift, right click, duplicate face, press F8, bring it back to object mode, three times by the way, control, unselect the cap, and move this thing, uh, let's isolate this, okay, we're gonna take, <coughs> sorry, we're gonna take these vertices here, switch to move tool, let's reset the tool, and let's choose component, the component right now is not really what how it's going to look like, so like like how we need this to look like so I'm gonna click on this edge with D and move it towards here to about so something like that I'm gonna do the same here press D click on that edge and move this here okay well uh, try to make sure it's somewhat at the same length doesn't have to be but try uh, D again maybe I want to make it like so and I'm going to press F8 and bring it back to object mode. I'm going to extrude this as a object mode, okay? Creating this thing. Uh, I don't know, something wrong here. Yeah, I know what is wrong, but I don't know how to really uh, fix this. I mean, I know. <laughs> Sorry, but just... I need to grab this vertex and double click on that vertex. It will select only this. And then I will be able to pull this out a little bit to about that. Okay, making sure it's 
here aligned that way. Yeah, more of like that. And then I will grab this vertex, double click on that ver vertex. And I'm going to do the same here. So let's, let's move this one here. Okay, press F8, bring it back to object mode. I'm going to unisolate this. And guess what? Now we only need to grab this, modify center to pivot. Let's change the orientation according to one of those edges. I'm going to select, press D and select this edge here. Or this edge maybe. No, maybe this edge. No, <laughs> this is weird. Let's grab this face and do this. No, this one. Okay, I can't align using face. Um, when I'm thinking of this, maybe I will. Yeah, I can align with face. See, we can do everything. We can align this face. So we need to be in object mode, and we will slide this through over here. So this will be the extra slot there that we need in order to insert a pin there. Now, the only thing is that we're going to need to add a few edge loops here. So I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to grab these edges and I'm going to move them here and I'm going to move them here. I don't really need them inside there. I'm going to grab those and do the same here making sure that it's aligned that way, see? I'm going to press F8, bring it back to object mode, shift, right click, insert, edge loop. You also don't need to make this too thick, but don't forget that it's going to be a uh, smooth preview, so it will be thinner than what it is. And I'm going to add a few edge loops. Uh, I don't need too many here, those edges, so I can get rid of them. Well, maybe not get rid of those two. I will keep those two and simply use the scale tool to bring them that way. This one is too close already, so I'm going to bring this one. You see what's going on here? This is so wrong. I hate stuff like that. That was the wrong thing to do. Um, Let's grab this one, shift right click, delete this one, let's delete this one, let's delete this one. The only problem is this thing here, that area. This is why I can't really do this correctly, so I'm going to try and insert edge, switch to move tool, and bring it that way, okay? I'm not playing with it too much, okay? And now we have also for inside, so we don't need more than that. And I'm going to add one edge loop. No, sorry. Let's see, one edge loop here. One edge loop. Ah, come on. It has three edges to rely on and still yet is doing this. One other edge. Okay, so I smoothed to preview this. I'm going to uh, isolate this. You can always trick this, right? It doesn't have to be said, you, you know this. You just need to make it object mode. Choose face and then press F8, bring it back to object mode and press D and choose this face. And then you will be able to align this. The only two things that needed to be here, uh, one pin here. And here you don't really need to make a pin, but sort of uh, something. So. Let's create pins and finish with this, okay? Uh, it will be easy for us. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Um, we're going to take one of the faces here. Okay. Well, this inner face selected. Shift right click, duplicate it. Press F8 three times. Unselect this. Let's isolate it for a second. Oh, no, 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 guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this, redo this face. Grab this one, double click on this one, and then duplicate face. 
we need the entire pipe, the inner pipe. So a, press F8 three times, grab this, and isolate this. So we have this thing, okay? We need to immediately go and choose uh, reverse normals, mesh display reverse. We're gonna take this thing, double click on it, shift, double click on that edge, unisolate this, click extrude, and I'm gonna pull it with this, okay? Hopefully it happens the same here. No, it's going inside, so I'm gonna undo that, switch to scale tool. If the scale tool is oriented that way, I can pull these two guys outside, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna click extrude once again, and I'm gonna click, I'm gonna open this that way here. Let's see what's going on there. It's doing uh, almost the same, so that's good. Gonna extrude it once again. Pull this that way. Let's see if it's doing the same here. Yes, it does. I'm gonna extrude it once more. Switch to scale tool. Oh no, sorry, not scale tool. <laughs> okay. Extruding it. Doing that thing as I did. Extruding it once again, move it out, tap on one of those cubes, so no scale tool please, do something like that, and then go over mesh, fill hole, okay, press F8, grab this face, grab that face, I don't have, I have no idea what I've done here, maybe I need to yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna try and poke this first. Shift right click poke those faces. And I'm clicking here at the background and I will grab this piece and try and pull this out. If it's not formed the same way as there, then don't worry. Uh, no, it's, it's not. So I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna press F8 and I'm gonna isolate this. I need the center here, grab the center, control right click, add ring utilities to add ring and split. You will have a nice split in the center, right click, choose face, grab half cut of this, press delete, press D and, well, make it to object mode first, press D and align it with this edge, and then press D and, well, Press D and try to lay V and align it with the center there. Okay? It's relying on the vertex that is here to be the center, and this is really where the center is. So we are facing the same thing here. We just need to go over edit, duplicate special, minus one here, click apply. That's fine. I'm gonna grab both of them now. Mash, combine click here, right click choose vertices, let's grab these vertices, shift right click merge vertices, merge vertices. That way we have this, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this edge, and move it closer because I need the edge there. I'm gonna do the same here, double click on this edge, move it here, and I'm gonna add a few edge loops for each side. I should have done this earlier, but uh, it's a bad habit to add edge loops whenever you're gonna later on use uh, a mirror option like that so uh, the reason is because later on you will be you will have much more crowded uh, edges and vertices and it will be just hard to merge them aggressively with oh man come on okay I'm just sick of that <laughs> it's killing me every time Let's double click on that. Let's scale this one. Don't bevel it. It's not going to bevel, probably. And that way. Okay. I'm going to do the same here. Add ring to this, add ring and split. And oh, uh, use here a slide edge tool because I don't want to mess around with this beveled area. And I'm going to do the same here and move it towards here. I'm going to. Grab this vertex, shift right click, chamfer it, 
press F8. Let's try to add one edge loop here. Ah, come on, I'm okay. So press F8. Let's add one more edge here, and this is all we need. So I'm gonna grab these faces, delete them, press F8. Right now I'm doing this the opposite way, so grabbing this and setting the pivot. Let's try this. Okay, mm. let's align it with this first. Sorry, with this one. D and that thing. And D and V and we don't have center here. We lost the center, actually. So I'm gonna do something before that. I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna poke this, okay? So we will have a center. And press F8. Press D. Well, move to D. V. No, don't rotate yourself. Okay. Like so. Alright. So now I need to do a plus one when I'm duplicating this. Oops. We're duplicating it. And instead of minus one, just one. Okay. Click apply. For some reason it doesn't occur. Oh, it did. No, it didn't. I have no idea. Let's isolate this. undo duplicate special because uh, I don't know why because so I'm wondering about this minus one click apply why is that I have no idea anyway shift right click combine right click choose vertices let's grab this shift right click merge vertices merge vertices and we've done with that thing I'm gonna unisolate this Right now it's really there, by the way. You can press 3, we will have the spin uh, that way. And we can duplicate this one and move it. Well, let's do modify center pivot for it. And I'm going to change, I'm going to bring this here to that area. But I don't need to have this um, here like so. Anyway, one of them should be open. I mean, it doesn't have to be, it, it shouldn't be like one of the, you know, those caps and one side shouldn't have a cap. So I'm gonna copy this another time. I'm gonna move this one here. And I'm gonna try and simply put this here with the V key. Okay, I don't have nothing to rely on, so hopefully this will work. I'm gonna grab these vertices, shift select these vertices, and I'm gonna squeeze this into here. Press F8, bring it back to object mode. You can just manually position this better. And the only last thing that we have, let's click here and see that this is really in a position, I'm going to take, oh, come on, I'm going to take this, scale it down a little bit, it's too big, try to match the diameter of this, and also the position, about that, I see that I'm lo missing something here, Anyway, try your best to do this. Let's isolate this. You see I'm missing here edges. So let's add them. I forgot about them. Here one. Here two. Here w no. No. This is just madness. I just ate this hate. Oh, 
All right. They should have fixed this issue by now. No, come on. <laughs> this is just madness to work that way. It should snap to something according to what you pointing to and rely on that. I'm not sure why it should be so hard to add edge loop where you want to add edge loop. But I guess the, our friends in Autodesk are simply retards. Bunch of retards who still manage to create one of the best. Um, tools out there. I'm kidding. I'm I'm the I'm the retard one here. You know this is how it really goes. Anyway, we managed to do this, and all you need to have here is cut this thing. So let's grab this pin. Right, we choose face. Switch off of your. Uh, you know, let's grab these, unselect these, and delete them. Okay. So you see. And I'm gonna grab this edge, double click on this, shift right click, fill all, where is the fill hole? Grab this, shift right click poke, right click vertex, let's grab this vertex, shift chamfer it, press F8, shift right click insert edge loop, I'm gonna insert one edge loop here, and <laughs> yeah right, of course. <laughs> oh come on <laughs> okay so we have one here and I need this to be a little bit more longer here basically there should be some sort of a holder in between those two uh, this thing and another uh, sort of a uh, clips that put this into place without letting out letting it slide out Okay guys, I think this is pretty much it for this part of the tutorial. The only thing that left here is basically to make sure that you take this part, you make sure that the pivot is really there if you ever want to animate this. I don't know why you want to, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, yeah, I stretch this a little bit more, this part, just to make sure that I'm finishing with this. And I'm going to advise you to make sure that this area looks the same. And... Uh, well, something like that would be fine, and you can go on and, I don't know, do something like in this area, choose it, and maybe lift it up so it will have something to, you know, you can grab it from beneath and really uh, lean it or something. I don't know, maybe you want this, maybe you don't want this, it's up to you. And one last thing, um, there is always, uh, in mo many of them, there is this thing here where you can grab this and let's say let's say select this one here okay well it's selected differently so I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna double click on that and then grab this and well I'm unselecting mm, come on this one by clicking control and I'm gonna unselect that one by hitting control so everything in between those two control selections will be unselected and you can do a bevel there okay you can grab this face okay and you can grab double click on that face you can grab these little triangles as well I guess and you can go and choose extrude and either pull them in first and squeeze them that way okay and then extrude them one ex once again extrude them a little bit more like so and then extrude them once again and pull them out like that now this will create some sort of a thing like that I don't like it that to go like so so let's keep it that way inside okay so if I'm gonna go and choose uh, un to with no wireframes, you will be able to see this. You see? Okay, so we have that 
thin line that is curved inside there. Anyway, guys, this is it for this part. Um, all you need to go to do is uh, go on and delete by type the entire history. Uh, make sure you open the outliner, check in with all of, all of those groups, what there is inside, middle mouse click, hold, remove all of them from the groups. Okay, don't create secondary groups like this one, <laughs> but move them out of the groups. Come on, guy. Okay, make sure you make your cleanup and everything, uh, and then do uh, delete by types once again. Hopefully, the entire groups will get uh, deleted. If not, delete them one by one, and go on, edit, copy. I'm going to save this for a second. Go on and do edit copy to the entire thing here and we'll uh, move it to the island as you already uh, done more than once, okay? So I will see you in the next part. We will continue with some more things to create. See you and thank you for watching. Bye.